So we're gonna try and not burn ourselves. My camera. Ow! Yo! And I'm catching this, baby. I'm back with another video. I know I look like an ant right now, but we got a review to do, so by any means. So um, today's sponsor is Unice Hair. Um, I was sent this hair. It's a deep wave curly wig, and it's a T part. It's a T part wig, um, and it is 16 inches. So I'm gonna show you what this hair looks like. I already tried it on my head, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like, unbox and everything. So this is the hair. Okay, it's like a cute little curly bob. You know, the texture is gorgeous. No tangles or nothing. I haven't had any shedding. You can put your hands right through it. So um, I do like the curl pattern of this hair and how it is. So it's a T part wig. So that pretty much means that it looks like a T. Straight down and that's it. That's the only parting space you have. I'm gonna show you the inside of the wig. This is how it looks. So there's a clip here. There's actually not a clip here. There's a clip like at the corner. The clips are in like weird spots, but you know, that's the business. So um, yeah, I tried this wig on guys and I'm gonna tell you right now, I did not like how it looked on my head. <laughs> no way, uh, no, I gotta take this off. Okay, I did not like how it looked on my head. I don't like this little part right here. Like it's so tiny. Honestly, there's just not enough free room to like do stuff i feel like they put this little piece of hair right here like there's literally a strand of hair right here and i'm guessing they like you know assume that you're supposed to cut this and make it into a baby hair and do a little swoop right there but i don't even like that especially being that it's like short you know it's like a short short curly bob i don't want just one big ass swoop in the middle of my forehead so what i'm thinking that i'm gonna do hear me out so what i'm thinking that i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna try and hot comb the T part forward, right? And then I'm gonna try and thin out the front. And I'm gonna try and thin out the sides. And I'm just gonna try and basically make some bangs out of this because honestly, I'm not wearing it in the middle like this. Like, no, I'm not. I'm gonna show you guys too how it looks on my head as like with the T part. And I'm gonna show you guys how crazy it looks. So hold on one second. You need count your fucking days. So this is how the wig looks on my head. Um, as you can see, I look crazy, okay? Um, I look crazy, this parting, everything. First of all, if you guys could see, this is not my skin color, like at all. Okay, so that's for one. So yeah, what we're gonna try and do is judge this shit up because either I'm gonna make bangs and if the bangs don't come out correct, okay i'm gonna just make this into a headband wing because we're not doing this this ain't that okay okay so i took the wig off i'm thinking i should part like where i want the bangs to come forward first i want them to be like in my face if that makes sense what i'm basically doing is pulling like sectioning out where i want the bangs to start and i'm using like a little comb so I could section it out better. So what I'm pretty much doing is I'm sectioning out a square and I am going to hot comb that square forward. Like if you look at this, this looks like the scalp of like a person. Oh my gosh, my camera's dying. Okay guys, so now I'm on my phone because my camera, ow! <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Okay, so guys, I'm on my phone because my camera is dead. I burnt my forehead about 40 times just now. So we're gonna try and not burn ourselves. What I'm pretty much doing right now is I'm trying to get rid of that part, that T part that's right in the middle. And I meant to, I forgot to tell you guys, 
you don't need to bleach this well you can't bleach it <laughs> because it's a fake scalp so there will be no bleaching so if that's what you came for you might want to exit stage left but i've moved the hair so that it's coming like forward um i'm about to wet it with my spritzer i got this from sally's so i'm going to switch this bitch up And I love this because so much comes out at once. Pure doo-doo. So, I'm just gonna keep wetting this little fro. So I can't wet it no more. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So I'm thinking, I'll cut them like right here. Okay. So, okay, so I'm gonna figure out where exactly I'm going to cut these bangs. I just need to make sure this part right here is a little more crisp because it's looking a little raggedy. I'm just gonna figure out where I'm gonna cut this and then I will come back. Okay, I just wanted to come back and say I lied. Um, I was going to use scissors, but I'm going to use this, whatever you guys call it in the hair community. I'm just going to use this and, you know, go like that because I want these to be choppy, but I don't want them to be like, you know, I don't want them to look too blunt, if that makes sense. I want them to look super choppy and yeah. And I really like this because I can just keep going and going until I like it and the ends don't look like straight across. So I'm going to keep doing that until I'm satisfied. So I'll come back once I'm done with this. Okay? Okay. Okay guys, so this is what I have so far. Um, I'm not sure how much more I'm gonna keep cutting it. Like, I honestly, I'm kind of over it. I feel like I've tried enough. Um, I'm gonna put some earrings in and see how I look. This side still needs to be like a little thinner. But basically what I just did is I thinned out the front so that it would look more thinner like bangs and this is how it looks um i'm gonna put some earrings on these are the bangings so i've come to many conclusions today and uh yeah this is all i could really come up with um as you guys can see the bangs are like still a little full but i really like i kept trying to make them thinner and thinner but i was getting scared so i stopped cutting them if you're somebody who doesn't like hair in your face this hairstyle is not meant for you i tried to make the bob itself even because this side was a little longer than this side but now i feel like this side is a little longer than this side i don't know because this side is still a little more wet so maybe that's why but this is how the wig looks guys um yeah, I really like the pattern, the hair pattern, all of that. But as far as the, spa the parting space, guys, the parting space was just not for me. A T-part wig is not for your girl. Like, honestly, I feel like I just put some, I just threw something together real quick. But I tried, so that's all that matters. It is my fault, kind of, because she did tell me that I picked a wig that didn't have a lot of parting space. But she told me after I ordered it, so it was like I couldn't really cancel my order because it was already coming the next day. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just have to make it work. I really wanted the sides a little thinner too, because like if I wear earrings or something, like I'm wearing earrings right now, you can't really see. I have to like 
you know yeah i just feel like this is a more so like on the go wig you gotta run to the store you gotta run to the airport real quick you could just plop this bitch on low maintenance all you gotta do is wet it and that's that i do love the texture of this hair the texture of this hair is really nice it's really fluffy i don't like how this hair smells when it's first wet i know i didn't give that much insight on what i did but literally all i did was plop this on my head part a square for these bangs and then i just thinned them out with this and that was literally it literally it so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video so i love you guys so much don't forget to make sure that you like comment and subscribe don't forget to make sure that you shop uni's hair and i will see you guys in the next video